welcome back to the Bluebird Bookshelf, your home for wholesome and happy read-alouds for kids. If we haven't met yet, my name is Kelly and I'm so excited to read with you today. A little bluebird told me that my friend Janie had a special request. This read-aloud is for you, Janie, and anyone else who loves dinosaurs and Tiny as much as me. Now, this little dinosaur, his name is Tiny. We're going to read about him in just a minute, but I want you to notice his very tiny arms. Tiny has a big problem and he has to solve it, but he's not sure how. Today we're reading Tiny's book, Tiny T-Rex and the Impossible Hug. Hmm, remember Tiny? Hmm, what would make Tiny have an impossible time giving a hug. Can you guess? Well, we're gonna find out. Are you ready? Let's read. Oh, wow, look at the pretty dinosaurs. This part of the book is called the book jacket. It's something that the book wears to keep it safe. When you buy a hardback book, you also might get a book jacket. And here on the book jacket is a little story to tell you what the rest of the story is going to be about. I am Tiny. That is my name. Also, I am very small, especially compared to my family. I do not mind being tiny, but sometimes it makes things tricky. Today is the trickiest. Today I will face the biggest challenge I have ever faced. Today I must learn how to hug. All right, let's find out if Tiny learns how to hug. Hello, Pointy. Are you okay? No. Today I feel sad. I do not want to play. Aww. Tiny T-Rex and the impossible hug. See his to-do list, how to make a friend feel better. Cake, smiles, hugs, tacos, jokes. I have tiny arms. It is very difficult to hug with tiny arms. Each day I am growing taller, but my arms are still tiny. Hugging almost seems impossible for a Rex as tiny as me, but I will try anyway. Pointy needs me. Where is my father? I will ask him for advice. Hello, father. Rexes are thinkers, not huggers. Perhaps instead of hugs, mathematics might be the answer to your problem. Happiness equals 8x plus 3y plus 2z. Pointy does not like math. Math will only make Pointy feel worse. Hello, Auntie Junip. I have a problem. I must learn how to hug, but my arms are too tiny. I have found that balance is the key to every problem. Balance and a freshly squeezed cucumber juice. Oh my goodness, cucumber juice? <laughs> that does not sound good. Let's see what Tiny thinks about that. That is disgusting. I will ask my mother for help instead. I have fallen and now I'm lost. I do not think I will find my mother in here. Where is Tiny? I see he's inside something that holds pencils and scissors. Hmm. Look, <laughs> he's in his mother's desk drawer. Hello, mother. It's okay if you can't hug Tiny. You are good at many other things. You are kind and creative and braver than most. You are tiny, but your heart is big. I cannot hug with my heart, mother. I must learn to hug with my arms. Hello, sister. Hello, brother. Please help me. Hugging is very difficult. We'd love to help, Tiny. 
To do the impossible, you must plan and practice. With practice, bonk, practice, plunk, practice. Thank you, Trixie and Rory. That is good advice. Wham. I will plan my strategy. Look, <laughs> this is such a cute page. Tiny wants to use a cannon to hug Pointy, but that's not going to work. Then he'll use stilts to hug Pointy. Then he'll use a unicycle and a ramp to hug Pointy. Maybe he'll get another friend to lower him. Uh-oh, nope, <laughs> that's not a good idea. Maybe he'll use a parachute, or maybe he'll dig a tunnel. Do you think any of these ideas will help him hug Pointy? Let's find out. I will get stronger. Mm, mm, mm. I will practice very hard. I will practice my hugs on everything. Uh-oh. <laughs> Maybe we should not hug our ice cream cones. <gasps> A cactus. I will not practice on that anymore. Poor Tiny. I am almost ready. I will practice one more time. When I am done, I will find my friend. This tree is very big, like pointy. I will hug it. This is not a tree. I have made a mistake. Please help. From up here, everything looks tiny like me. I could hug anything I wanted. Turn your head. <laughs> now I am falling. I should not have let go. Now I will never find Pointy. Oh! Hello, Pointy. Hello, Tiny. He looks confused. I am here to make you feel better. I have practiced very hard and hugged many things. My arms are still tiny and my hugs are still tiny, but I will do my very best because you are my very best friend. Thank you, Tiny. Look, he did it. That was the biggest hug ever. <laughs> the end. I hope you enjoyed reading Tiny T-Rex and the Impossible Hug with me as much as I enjoyed reading with you. Goodbye from me and my friend Tiny. We'll see you next time. Bye!